Hello there, today I'm gonna to show you how to use the transparency brush in Clip Studio Paint. It's a really simple feature, but it's sped up my productivity um, when creating concept art or doing drawings or painting or anything like that. It's one of the features that for some reason, Photoshop doesn't let you customize. And I'm also gonna show you my hotkey setup and how I'm able to switch colors quickly and also switch between the brush and the eraser tool all while keeping the same brush settings, which is one of my favorite things. I think it'll help you out too. All right, let's go. All right, first I am going to show you how it works in Photoshop and how I don't like it. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to open up a new document and Let's just go art illustration, thousand pixel grid, doesn't really matter. Let's start off with this. So I don't you well, I, I just thought of a new video idea. Um, so I don't, it, the brush doesn't really matter. So in Photoshop, I don't even think a lot of people know this particular um, feature. So let's say you're drawing and you're like, oh man, okay, I need to erase but your eraser is a lot different than your your brush, but you want it, you still want the erasing to have the same texture as your brush. So what you can do um, is hit the tilde key. So this right here, as you can see, it's that weird wavy key in the corner. And if you hold that button while you're using a brush in Photoshop, um, you can erase with the same same brush that you're currently using, but you have to hold down the key. So if you're gonna do a lot of brushing, you know, you're gonna be holding the key down for a long time. Um, you know, let go, start, let go. And so I don't like that. I don't like that setup. And Photoshop, they don't let you, so if you go to keyboard shortcuts, I'm all about customization. And if you go to shortcuts, um, I've, I've looked all over the place and I've never found a way to customize it. There's like all these different settings and there's brush toggle erase. Is it? Let's undo. Is it this? Like, like I, there's no way. See, that's an invalid shortcut. You try to change that, that shortcut, it doesn't give you a way of changing it. And it's like, why Photoshop? Um, I want to, <laughs> I want to change that. I want to be able to toggle it instead of have to hold the key. And it's really, really, really annoying. I really wish they'd add that feature. It's a simple change. It should be a simple change. It's not complicated. So, it, you know, the process of, oh, I want my eraser to match my other key is not, it's not easy. It's not an easy thing to do, especially because they have these like most recent, we have to go look for your brush. If you choose this, it'll, it'll switch back to a normal brush. It's just complicated. It's not fun. It, it, it messes up my workflow. I typically uh, like to use the same brush as my eraser. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in Clip Studio Paint. Okay, we are in Clip Studio. You can tell I, I've customized Clip Studio a lot more than my Photoshop because I don't use it that much. Um, so let's let's do a new square illustration. And here we've we've got a brush. Okay, you know, so we're painting, we're painting. I'm like, oh man, I wanna use the same brush to erase. So here we've got our like two different colors. And if you'll notice here, there is a new icon. Uh, Photoshop has their two colors, but this one has a third. And if you'll, if you notice that, that checker box look, that's the usual, uh, that's the usual like graphical representation of an alpha transparency. Um, so if I were to switch to this 
It's called the Transparency Brush. And as you can see, I've still got my brush that I was using before, but it erases. I don't have to switch brushes to erase with the same style of brush. And I have hotkey set up. So as you can see on the, the QWERTY uh, overlay on this recording, like if I hit X, that's that's my erase erase button. And I also have C set up. So I, I have, and I, I'll go over that now. So I, I set up C to switch colors and I set up X to switch to a race with the same brush. So you've got like, say you've got a blue and you've got a red on this, this one, or let's say purple. So I'm coloring, coloring my hotkey. Oh, I want to switch back to my other color, hit Z. You've gone to that color. You can pick another color and keep working, switch back to your purple and you're 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 speeding things up because you've got this hot key that you'll switch between colors which you can do in photoshop but then the other factor is you can erase with the same brush so you've got these two color options for quick quick switching between colors and you've got this transparency eraser brush <laughs> that you don't have to switch between brushes all the time and uh, like have to match your brushes or hold down the tilde key like i, I showed in photoshop which I find really annoying. I can take my time, switch to the eraser, and you know, do do the erasing that I need to do, and there's no problem. I don't I don't have to hold any key. Uh, like that's that's inefficient. Why why should I have to hold a key to erase with the same brush? It's really annoying. And an added feature, <laughs> you still have your own custom eraser brush if you want to use it you can still uh, which i have as you can see on on screen i have the e still set for erase and i still have a custom brush that's specifically for erasing and so i don't have to match the brush if i don't want to i have both options i can still have a custom eraser brush and i still have the paintbrush that i'm using look two different erasers at once and I don't have to go and change the settings every single time I want to use the same type of brush for my eraser. If there's an easier way in Photoshop and I'm not aware, leave a comment. As far as I know, there isn't. And it's a little ridiculous because it's like the staple illustration, digital illustration concept art app, but it doesn't have the simple feature. Like why <laughs> like, it kind of drives me crazy. And you can, you can see from this that like this, this feature makes, makes the process of switching between tools. Oh, I'll do like a little, just for fun, do like a little watcher sketch while, while we're talking like this feature just speeds up productivity tremendously and it's not that complicated it's but it's one of the things that made me really like using clip studio paint is i can i can use the same brush as my eraser instantly and i don't have to change things around constantly which drives me crazy it's about the art process it's it's about not being impeded by your tools it's about your tools speeding you up and it being a constant perfect flow that doesn't hinder you photoshop you're hindering us clip studio paint has had this feature for since i've been using it and that's five that has to be like five plus years like there's there's no excuse and, and i'm excited to show you some of the other things that i love about uh, clip studio paint but i wanted to make this video because it's one of the most basic features, but like it's, it's essential for me. I love it. <laughs> and yeah, I, I can't wait to get in other videos, but that's it. Uh, oh, I do remember one thing I wanted to show you. 
So how I how I set up uh, my custom shortcuts, because I, th I think I think Clip Studio doesn't come preloaded with C as your color changing tool and X as your erasing transparency brush. So what you'll want to do is go to edit and oh, no, I'm sorry, um, that's that's in Photoshop. So go to uh, file and then shortcut settings. And from here, you're actually going to want to get off of tools and you're going to want to go to options. And here in the options setting, you're going to go to drawing color. And there's two settings right here. There's switch main color and sub color. And what I like to do is have C for switching color. C, color, makes sense. And then switch drawing color and transparent color. I set that to X. And I think that's, it's either C or X in Photoshop to switch your colors, but I, I like to use X as the array, switching to a transparency brush or eraser, um, because it's like X, you're Xing it out, you're you're removing something, so X. X makes sense for me as a hotkey. So that, that was my setup for that particular hotkey. Um, and also show my keyboard um, how how easy it is. These these two keys are right next to each other. And I, uh, there's another video I want to get into as far as what I love about Clip Studio, but I'll save that for another time. Yeah, that, that wraps it up. So I'm going to do a little quick drawing for you to view. It'll be like a one minute time lapse and we'll wrap this up. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye. What's up? What is this? Microphone. Hello. Why is it not working? It is. It is? It's recording right now, yeah. But I, I, I don't hear it, but it's just recording me talking. I'm so sorry. All right, stop. <laughs> Apple. Um, okay, stop. Go, 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 go. Save the birthday song today. The day song and I love you too. The day is a damn perfect day for you. Special night and songs to you. And I love, love you too. too. And Kristoff loves you. I go get say that Can you hear it? No, I can't. But I will be able to hear what you're doing. <laughs>